How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's the third week of 2023 and as usual we're going to be talking about what's happening in the Forza community this week. As per usual, news, updates, all that jazz. So if you like these update videos, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single one. So in this video, in terms of news, there's not really been too much happen in the Forza world lately. So there's something else we're going to sort of touch on towards the end, sort of to fill some time. Over on the Forza support Twitter page, there's been no updates of any bugs found or anything like that, nothing on there. And the normal Forza Horizon Twitter page, there's been nothing on there either. So it's a relatively quiet week in terms of that. There has been some big news regarding Microsoft laying off 10,000 workers as it looks to trim costs. Now, this is sort of related to Forza because obviously Forza is sort of under Xbox and under Microsoft. So there's been a little bit of concern about how maybe Playground Games will turn 10 might be affected by this maybe they've had people that have had to be laid off well i did manage to get a note from one of the turn 10 sort of workers someone who works there and it does seem like playground games and turn 10 are all sort of unaffected from this microsoft sort of layoff scandal thing which is always good to hear obviously that is completely unrelated to the developers the forza horizon 5 more specifically mike brown and um, tommy and everyone like that we all know that they left to make their own game studio. That is completely unrelated to the Microsoft layoffs, just in case anybody thought they were related. We are one week away from presumably hearing all about the Japanese automotive update, which is presumably going to be revealed on the 26th of January. This is usually when they do their Forza monthly streams now on the sort of a Thursday before the update releases. So we can probably presume that less than a week from now, we will have all the information we need to know about the Japanese automotive update, what cars are coming and stuff like that. You may remember last video, we showed what possible cars we might be getting in that update. Here they are on screen again. These are possibilities. Now, if we're getting Forza monthly on the 26th, are we getting a Torben Tuesday? Well, this week's Tuesday is already passed. So the only thing I can think of is maybe the 24th of January, may just be a Torben Tuesday. Once again, I'll remind you all on the 25th, there is that Xbox game showcase. There is going to be Forza Motorsport information and presumably more gameplay and details in that stream. However, we're not expecting any expansion to news. Now talking about something I've not spoken about for a while, I like to talk about this occasionally because it's such an important thing when it comes to updates and features for Horizon 5. Over on the Forza forums, there's something called the Suggestions Hub. Now, this is the main place that the developers and the team at Playground Games go to to find out what to put into the game because we suggest it over on the forums. And I don't think that there's enough people that actually use these forums. You can see here, and it's kind of glitched at the moment, there's a lot of empty posts. But you can see over on the left-hand side all of the specific things that you can suggest for what to happen to the game. So if it's a car feature or if it's a gameplay feature, if it's to do with menus or interface, you know, you can suggest whatever you want. So what I want to quickly do is have a look at just all of the general features, general horizon features, and have a look what the top 10 most voted ones are. Because you would think the ones that are the top 10 most voted suggestions by our community are the ones that will have a higher probability of being added to the game. So we're going to have a look through these and if there's anything that you spot that's being suggested here that you guys want to vote for, go and vote for it. Or if there's something that you really want that's not here, get it voted because it's not even in the top 10. Starting off with the 10th most voted feature, it is extend the night time. Now this has 98 votes. Now that's, that's just a perspective of how little people use these suggestion hub features. Only 98 people has voted for the 10th most requested feature. But yeah, people are basically saying and agreeing that they want the night time to be extended within Horizon 5. It is very frustrating when we go on Horizon 5 to take nice photos in the day and it's night and you've got to wait. But when you want it to be night time and when you're not too bothered, it is quite cool to drive around in the night. Maybe an extension of the night time is something that might they might look into because it seems like it's a highly requested feature. The ninth most requested feature is more drag racing car customization with 101 votes. Again, they went into specifics about how they just want more drag specific car upgrades. So the drag car community, you know, the drag racers, 
can really make drag cars. He goes on to say that this is down to like tire profiles and tire widths being smaller than usual, um, tire sizes being bigger than usual, rims being smaller than usual, different brakes, all the kind of stuff you'd expect to see on a proper drag car. I think the issue with this is it's very niche. There's only a certain amount of people that would use these. If you're not into drag racing, you'd never use these. So we we'll never know. We might see that. It's the ninth most requested thing. So on to the eighth most voted for thing, and it is add window stickers. This is an obvious one. I'm surprised this one isn't higher up because I see a lot of people wanting window stickers. Now, I'll say this now. I'll be very surprised if Forza Horizon 6, which is a long time away, I'll be very surprised if that doesn't have window stickers because it's been asked for for a long time. Back in Horizon 4, we couldn't paint brake calipers and that was highly requested. It required a lot of work, but we got it in Horizon 5. I think window stickers is probably the same kind of situation. On to the seventh most requested feature, and that is OEM body kits, spoilers, and choice of OEM wheels. The poster of this suggestion goes in specifics about how on Test Drive Unlimited, there are a lot more OEM upgrades for specific cars and he really wants these in Forza and it looks like 118 people have voted for this and agreed that that will be a good addition. Now I think just any amount of new upgrades is a yes from me and a yes from most people. Who doesn't love more upgrades whether that's OEM, custom, who cares? Upgrades are always good so I can see why this is so far up. The sixth most voted feature is please support collisions off in Racing Horizon 5 with 124 votes. Now I find this one very interesting because I don't play online racing on Horizon 5, it annoys me, but they go into detail about how apparently there are no collisions off racing in Horizon 5 online, but there was in Horizon 4. Now I don't know if this is true or not, but 124 people obviously agree with this. I don't know, I'm surprised this isn't in the game. I don't really see why they would remove this. Um, again. I wouldn't be this is just a very tiny feature that probably doesn't take much work on the developer's end that we may see come to the game because it's not highly voted for. On to the top five now, the fifth most voted feature is LED lights under cars or underglow with 142 votes. Again, a very niche thing. I think there's only certain people that would use this. I don't know how much effort it would take for the developers to do this. It's probably not a massive job, which means then it might be worth doing. It's in the top five. I don't think it would be a Horizon 5 feature, maybe Horizon 6. The fourth most requested feature for Horizon 5 is increase file limit. 500 limit for a game that launched with 500 plus cars. Now I didn't actually know this to be honest, but apparently there's a file limit of 500 tunes and paints but there's a lot more than 500 cars in the game. It must be annoying for hardcore tuners and painters to not be able to make a tune and a design for every car in the game. They have said before that when they do stuff like this for current games, so if they were to increase the file limit for Horizon 5, it takes a lot of testing. They've got to do a lot of testing, a lot of stress testing to make sure it can definitely handle it before they roll out any increases. So it might come. It is the fourth highly requested thing. So top three. These are the top three most requested features for Horizon 5. Number three customizable exhaust. Now, I completely agree with this. It would be pretty cool to change the size and the style, you know, the end can, the tip of an exhaust on Horizon 5. We can sort of change the sound that was introduced in this game, but more these are on about the size of it, the look of it. If you've owned any tunable car in real life, you know you can get loads of different exhaust systems that have different tips, five inch tips, four inch tips, double barreled, you know, you get loads. The second most voted feature with 228 votes it is interior customization again i completely agree they go into specific about how it'll be nice to change the color of the interior um, you can remove the seats choosing race seats weight reduction by removing the seats and stuff like that all we've got at the moment is a roll cage now i disagree with this because recently horizon 5 some of the new cars have actually had slightly customizable interiors. I think it was one of the Porsches a couple of updates ago. Depending on what color you made the car, it changed the color of the door cards and the stitching inside. They're exploring that route, so it wouldn't surprise me if we do get more interior customization 
over the next few months and years for Horizon 5 and 6. Now for the number one most requested feature that I'll be very surprised if they aren't working on. With 428 votes, so it's a lot of votes, and it was actually a post by one of the Turn 10 managers. So I think the Turn 10 community managers posted this just to see how many people are interested in it. And it is new Forza Aero. They said, vote here if you want to see alternative Forza Aero in upgrades, but also post a reply with the details. Now it got quite a few replies, and one of them that stuck out to me was this one here. It's sort of a bit of blurb, a bit of specifics, but it then showed some images about what the possibility of the Forza Aero could be. We all know that there's a sort of a generic Forza Aero front splitter on most cars in the game that sort of looks similar to this. They could introduce the ability to extend the splitter as far as we want to make it look from this to this. Now that's a bit extreme, but I don't see any reason why they couldn't do this. It would dramatically affect the aero of the car. It would add more tunable, tunable parameters. You know, you'd be able to really specifically tune a car with each aero part to how you want it, for what build you're making. You know what I mean, but it's the number one most requested feature and it is Forza Aero. And looking back at it, Almost all of these top 10 most requested features are all down to car customization. It seems like car customization is a huge thing. I don't know how long it takes for Playground Games to implement these features based off the ones that are voted, but there's a lot of car customization stuff there. So we will see in the future if they start to add stuff like this. But once again, guys, get yourselves over onto this suggestions hub because if we're not suggesting the right things, we're never going to get them, are we? That is pretty much everything for today's video, guys. As I said, next week we'll have a couple of videos on Torment and Tuesday, Forza Monthly, if we get one. So stay tuned for that. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later.